we see class actions, mass tort claims, collective redress claims, representative actions, group actions in every shape, size, flavour and form you can possibly imagine. So we have a unique perspective on class actions because our experience is as broad and diverse as it comes. That means we know a great deal about the area, what works, what doesn't work, what the risk factors are, how they can be addressed preemptively when they materialise into claims. We have unrivaled experience in deploying strategies defensively to meet them. And because there is now funding available for claimants in a fashion that has previously not been available, which means there's no meritorious claim that cannot now be brought, and that encourages justified claims. It also encourages those that are on the border of justified, but which have the potential for a settlement to be leveraged. And so we're seeing more of them more often, and I think that trend will continue. We've been involved in um, a number of um, landmark decisions recently at DLA Piper. We get plenty of access to class actions, um, both within the UK and in other jurisdictions. In the UK itself, some of the main cases that we're handling at the moment have arisen out of some of the major tragedies which have occurred, but also huge product liability issues that have arisen, shareholder disputes and, and various other matters. It's sometimes difficult to publicise the work that we're doing because of the sensitivities and the client um, confidentiality issues. But we are working on some of the largest mandates, which are not only UK-centric, but also across various jurisdictions. And what I think we're increasingly finding with class action type work is that they're very quickly moving from single jurisdictions to multi-jurisdictional issues. We are seeing accelerated interest in collective redress and in mass tort actions. In particular for defective products, um, toxic torts and in the area of climate change. Once a client gets embroiled within a class action, the most valuable thing that he can have is a trusted business advisor. The trusted business advisor really comes into their own when they are able to look at the problem, identify the route map, get a solution and provide advice to the client and not just black letter law information. Thank you.